Welcome to our series exploring the enigmatic realm of unexplained deaths and mysteries. Join us as we delve into perplexing cases that defy conventional understanding, where each clue raises more questions. Oscar Zeta Acosta's disappearance is one of the most enduring mysteries tied to the Chicano movement and the countercultural era of the 1960s and 70s. Born in 1935 in El Paso, Texas, Acosta grew up in California and became a lawyer, novelist, and activist, whose work was deeply intertwined with his identity as a Chicano and his critiques of systemic injustice. His writings, combined with his larger-than-life persona, made him a controversial and iconic figure. However, his sudden disappearance in 1974 has left many questions unanswered, fueling speculation and myth-making around his life and fate. Acosta's life was marked by a combination of brilliance, excess, and radicalism. He rose to prominence in the late 1960s and early 1970s as a lawyer defending activists in the Chicano movement. One of his most famous cases involved representing the Brown Berets, a militant Chicano group advocating for Mexican-American civil rights. He also ran for sheriff of Los Angeles County in 1970, using his campaign as a platform to highlight police brutality and racial inequality. Beyond his legal work, Acosta was a gifted writer whose semi-autobiographical novels, The Autobiography of a Brown Buffalo, published in 1972, and The Revolt of the Cockroach People, published in 1973, captured the struggles, frustrations, and resilience of Chicano communities. These works blended humor, rage, and introspection, making them essential contributions to American literature. Acosta's friendship with gonzo journalist Hunter S. Thompson added another layer to his mystique. Acosta was immortalized as the eccentric and larger-than-life Dr. Gonzo in Thompson's seminal work Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, published in 1971. The character's outrageous antics reflected Acosta's real-life penchant for pushing boundaries, whether in his activism, courtroom performances, or personal life. This association with Thompson helped Acosta gain wider recognition, but some critics argue it overshadowed his serious contributions to Chicano literature and activism. By 1974, Acosta's life was marked by increasing instability. He struggled with drug addiction, erratic behavior, and the personal toll of his activism. In May of that year, he traveled to Mazatlan, Mexico, seeking a reprieve or possibly inspiration for his next project. The last known contact was a phone call to his son, Marco, during which Acosta cryptically mentioned boarding a boat with white snow. This phrase has been interpreted as a metaphor for drugs, or as an indication of foul play. Acosta was never heard from again, and despite investigations, no trace of him was ever found. Theories about his disappearance abound. Some suggest he was murdered, possibly due to his political activism or involvement in drug circles. Others believe he may have been the victim of an accident or even staged his own disappearance to escape the pressures of his tumultuous life. His son Marco has expressed the belief that Acosta was likely killed in Mexico, given the political and criminal climate of the region at the time. Acosta's disappearance has become as much a part of his legacy as his writings and activism. It has cemented his status as a mysterious and romanticized figure, embodying the struggles and contradictions of the Chicano experience in mid-20th century America. His works continue to resonate with readers and activists, ensuring that his voice remains a vital part of the ongoing dialogue about identity, justice, and cultural pride. While the mystery of his disappearance remains unsolved, it has only amplified the enduring fascination with his life and work, keeping Oscar Zeta Acosta firmly entrenched in the pantheon of radical American figures. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the unexplained. We hope these mysteries have sparked your curiosity and encouraged you to delve deeper into the unknown. Until next time, stay curious, stay vigilant, and never stop seeking the truth.